I was more distracted than I'd ever been. Messages pinged, notifications slided in and out, badges taunted me that I was behind. And when I reached for my phone, I was trapped in an endless loop of distraction, flicking between 15 or so apps. But I've got a system that helped me get on top of my phone addiction based on Nir Yal's book called Indistractable. For the same reason your New Year's resolutions will fail if you rely on willpower alone, willpower fades, systems hold. And it isn't to buy a dumb phone, a light phone too, or just abstain from using your phone. The system I landed on, two phones my day phone and a weekender. So if you're planning to start the new year right, sometimes one phone plus one phone equals less phone distracted time. How's it going folks? My name is Marcus and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here on this channel, I talk about EDC, technology, and anything that can help me live a balanced, happier, more productive life. This year I found myself incredibly distracted all the time. I work in software development and have worked from home for almost three years. I love it and I think it's the best of both worlds. I work in an industry that I love, on hard problems that I think are important, and I see my kids more. I seem to have a couple of extra hours in the day. The trouble is, I'm now more distracted than ever, making deep focus at work harder, as well as wasting time doom scrolling on my phone when I'd rather be spending time with my kids. In 2020, I read a book, Indistractable by Nir Eyal, in which he says, we can take steps right now to retain and regain our brains. One key part of his strategy is to remove external triggers that distract you, and a chapter on hack back your smartphone particularly resonated with me. Our smartphones are designed to be triggers. Messages ping, notifications pop up in sight, icons refresh and show you how many emails you haven't read yet. It's endless, and any time I pull out my phone out of my pocket, I flick through up to about 15 apps before I put it away again. I was literally addicted to my phone, and it's starting to impact the rest of my life. So it's easy, right? Just use your phone less. Well, I've tried just about everything. My first attempt was just pure willpower. I'm in control, I just won't use my phone when I don't want to. Impossible, I needed a system. My day phone would have everything I need for work, my social media distractions and all that bad goodness, and the weekender would be my shield. I'd use the day phone while working and the weekender in the evenings and weekends. So I tried a dumb phone, a Nokia flip phone, and I spent an entire evening setting it up, adding contacts, and it was a complete disaster. I didn't even get an entire day out of it. The camera isn't good enough, so I miss key moments. Messaging takes a lifetime, so you actually spend more time with it in your hand, and it was essentially a failure. I seriously considered buying the Life Phone 2 based on some of the hype surrounding it, but it was missing a couple of key capabilities that I still wanted it to have. So I made a list of what I wanted for my indistractable phone. I still need a really great camera to capture key moments, a note-taking app to capture ideas, maps to help me find where I need to go, Spotify and Audible for when I'm alone. And I landed on an iPhone mini. It's perfect, and here's why. It's small, so less distractible in your pocket. It has fantastic camera to capture those important moments. It has a notes app, mapping, music, audiobooks, and they all sync across my devices, so they're always up to date. I set the theme on this to be particularly uninspiring, so whenever I do take it out of my pocket, it's not gonna keep me hooked. And it really does work. I have about eight apps for it, so music, audiobooks, messages, headspace, mapping, but nothing that I'd spend a lot of time scrolling through or could be unwanted distraction. So the iPhone 12 mini sells on Swappa now for about $250, so it's super affordable, but another great option that ticks the box is the iPhone SE, which sells for about $125 now. So whatever your budget, you can likely get something that works for you. So I still have an iPhone 13 Pro for all my social media, email, Slack distractions, when I want to be distracted. I have this on my desk as I work throughout the day and when I need it and I give myself dedicated times when the kids are in bed where I'm allowed to go down the rabbit hole and use this device. But mornings before 8 a.m., evenings before 8 p.m. and weekends, I'm on my indistractable phone or my weekender as I call it. I'm still figuring out the rules of engagement here, but if you're too distracted or addicted to your phone, why not try another phone? Sometimes one phone plus one phone equals less phone distracted time. Good luck.